Pictures right now and new legal maneuvering in the case of the accused murderer in the Colorado movie theater massacre. Marshall Zellinger from our Scripps sister station in Denver joins us live from the newsroom with what happened in court today and what we can expect next. Marshall. Well, Michael Holmes' defense attorneys told the judge that he could not ethically tell the court that they are ready to go with a plea that was this morning. Soon after, the judge quickly ruled that the good cause had not been shown for further delays, and then the judge entered a plea on James Holmes' behalf. For the first time in nearly eight months, we were allowed cameras in the courtroom, new video of James Holmes, uh, showing a bushy beard and very unkempt hair. I've been inside the courtroom throughout the entire process, and what he looked like today seemed to be as unkempt as I've seen him with the, the, the hair kind of out of control as with the uh, facial hair. Uh, Holmes' parents sat in the first row right in front of me. They did not react when the judge entered the plea on his behalf. Now, Holmes can still change his plea to not guilty by reason of insanity. Right now, it is simply not guilty. The judge would have to approve that at a later court date. We also learned today that the district attorney uh, in the case will determine on April 1st if Holmes will face the death penalty. And this morning, we talked with one friend of family of one of the victims, Jonathan Blanc. His cousin, Jessica Watts, let us know how she's dealing with all of this new information.